Welcome back to Dano Does Things. This week I will show you how to make a super quick and handy needle book out of felt. I have been using the cardboard case my embroidery needles came in, but it is time for a storage upgrade. First I made a cardboard template. I made mine four and a half inches wide and three inches tall. I also rounded the corners, which you can do by tracing a button or a coin. I used the template to trace and then cut out two pieces of felt, one for the outside of the book and one for the inside. Since it's a small project, it's perfect for using up scraps of leftover colors that you may have laying around. I decided that the white felt would be my inside piece, so I trimmed off the side edges a little bit since when you fold the piece in half, the inside one will overhang a bit and not line up very nicely when you're sewing it. Next I took the outside piece of felt and decorated it. You can really decorate it however you would like. I'm using needle felting to create a sky and moon and stars pattern, but you can embroider it or cut out shapes from felt and hot glue or sew them on. The possibilities are really endless. You can even leave it plain if you are so inclined. It's your needle book, so make it however you'd like. On the front of the right hand side, in the middle, I am sewing on a button that will be part of the needle book's closure. Whichever style of button you have, make sure it is securely fastened to the felt. Now I didn't realize at the time, but I lost a little footage. Thankfully this part is easy to understand. After you finish sewing on the button, you'll need to attach a loop. I cut a hair elastic in half and then glued it onto the felt using E6000 glue on the inside of the felt piece on the opposite side of the button. The last step was to lay the inside felt piece onto the wrong side of the outside felt piece and sew all along the edge with a blanket stitch. After I shuffled my cat out of the way, my needle book was done.
Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more craft projects and ideas, please like this video and subscribe and we will see you next week.